Hi YouTube, I hope you're well. I'm doing okay. I've been thinking about like um, trying to talk to Rabbi or it's like talking to a brick wall. So I'm going to call this video um, talking to the wailing wall of Rabbi with no response or something like that. Because when I ask a pointed question, poignant, pertinent to the conversation, asking why they don't speak that Abraham was not Jewish, but his seeds that inhabited the whole world, the angel told Abraham when he took him outside, he said, look at the stars your offspring will be as numerous as the stars. Now, like Lot, for instance, and I can't think of, and I don't have a list, and I'm not going to, but to get back to the story, um, his sons were Jewish, and I know you have heard how the bloodline is passed down through the mother, you know. So... Um, and yeah, I'll debate anybody on anything at any time on all of this. No, no question about it. I've been doing this all my life. God put me in this situation <laughs> because there's, there's, um, people with ears to hear quite simply put. <laughs> and that isn't being uh, facetious or mean-spirited or anything depending on a person's wavelength. Um, Doug's getting some wood from some people that wanted out of their place but would have to pay to get it hauled away. So then he gets wood for free and um, uh, like an exchange, but these people invited me to their lake place, and I told Doug, hey, have them watch me on YouTube first, and they can make a determination, but I'm selective, and then I find out that these people are watching somebody like Joel Olstein, maybe not the whole family, but the misses of the family, and these are times where many will be offended, but most pastors won't tell you Christ cannot be found in the church. And that's why he says, come out of my, um, come out of Zion, my people, because the people are still living in Egypt. They've enslaved themselves with their lack of understanding and their ignorance. And when I have a rabbi ignore me, when he's trying to teach the whole flipping world what he presumably knows I'm not going for that. So um, I would automatically have somewhat of a conflict, although I get along with everybody, but I'm not going to stress myself on a different level for somebody that is in a satanically run Zionist church or that mindset set with their music and the vibe of it and everything. I can deal with heavy metal with some really good lyrics that are just um, making a, a spiritual point more than I can the vibration of the fakeness of the masses in the world. I just can't do that. So, anyway if you can relate, <laughs> you know, so, and I've been passing around what a lot of people would deem as controversial information. If you read anything within, with, with your soul, you're going to know where to um, divide the truth and decipher and uh, determine things with your spirit. That guide, God guides you with that truth no matter what. 
And if you're really ever getting to the level that you understand mankind has changed language from Babylon till now to suit their selves to keep you enslaved. And if you can understand that with nothing taking away your faith and love from God, then you can further your education fully informed of the truth and trust yourself, trust your heart with your own discretion like that? Do you trust yourself or are you trusting in man? You know, because we all have the Word of God written on our hearts. That's the Spirit of God. And if you're not listening to that, well, you're listening to something that would be for the masses. And I know you're not hearing God's voice like that. It's not there. It's out here. If um, the truth or community, whatever we want to call ourselves, getting to the bottom of whatever fakeness was pushed towards us, it's we're pushing back with our facts from different cultures from all over the world that connect with that human family, and it's a giant army pushback with a lot of people with PhDs, and, you know, we got it all, too. It's a flipping army, and thank you all. That's, that's, I was singing kind of in a funny way, our God is an awesome God. I think that is a God awful song. It's one of the it's on the sucky level of nine and creepy crawl my skin ten, if not a eleven. You know, I just can't handle it. You know, it's like you're lying. You're singing these stupid songs so you can lie to yourself. Talk about ignoring the facts out here in this world. For for Satan to have them by their boo-boos so bad that they won't even listen to um, other people's reasoning, never wanting to take you away from God, because in those scriptures, that is one thing that is true, along with the commandments and our seven deadly sins. We all know we should, like, not do that type of thing in our lives, you know, and, you know, either abide by it and you walk righteously or you don't, one of the two, you know, so there's no little, I'll just be a little stupid here type of feeling within all that. That's something Satan allows you, that dark force spirit that when it doesn't get its way, it fucking tantrum, excuse me, like a little two-year-old. Well, you go tantrum somewhere else because I ain't buying your crap, and I am a warrior, and I don't care who you think you are, you'll never scare me. It will happen the other way around. I guarantee you that no matter who you think you are. Now, if you sneak attack me or something, which I've had happen, buyer beware. If my feelings get hurt, I cry, and then I get angry. Try that on for size. That's how my spirit is. Now, I can control my anger. I don't think I can I wouldn't be sitting here talking to the dark cabal if I couldn't control my anger. I'd be doing something to you that you deserve. That's a fact. And that can be done in the ether, my dear sweet family members on this earth. My equal compatriots. Was, yeah, it was a little snide, wasn't it? Cheers. <laughs> so my attitude in life might not be for the um, faint of heart, you know. Or like Doug would say, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. 
Well, it's okay because my tea is not free. Oh, somebody asked me um, if I was drinking coffee or tea. I used to drink a lot of black tea, and I like orange pico and um, earl gray. And I don't like green tea. You can't convince me I do. And um, strawberry tea is good. You know, but like I could have strawberry. I have my own um, strawberry plants and raspberries. I can make my own tea. I just prefer coffee. I'm not going with the flow of what a lot of people do in this life. I was drinking tea when I was a little kid because I liked it. And I don't like it much anymore. But I'm allergic to the tannins in it and the chlorophyll in the green one so with my allergies so i don't know i i think i chanced a cup about a couple years ago of black tea so it'll be a while it kind of rips me up inside so anyway so, yeah <laughs> When I wasn't feeling good a couple months ago here, I was thinking about having a cup of tea, and then I thought, I just better not because I don't feel good. But it used to make me feel better when I was little, but I just kind of, my allergies said no. <laughs> you know, I know what it did to me last time, and it's like, you know, it was like almost all of a sudden, when I was a young adult working on ranches and um, like I'd put it in my Mr. Coffee, I'd buy the brisk black tea by Lipton and it was um, loose tea and I could put it in there and brew a whole pot of black tea. I loved it, but I don't know. <laughs> so, then all of a sudden I couldn't have it after... I don't know. God knows why. Who knows? My allergies are really weird. Paper products, wood. Um, yeah, weird. I mean, I can understand the petroleum and even a lot of food allergies, but all beans and legumes, lentils, whole grains, it's like, give me a flipping break, you know? And there's so much more, just weird. I plant asparagus, find out I'm allergic to it, and rhubarb. No wonder it made me feel weird when I ate it, you know. So, yeah, I'm listening to a, a discussion between Dr. Amon Hillman and Gnostic Informant. And they're talking about ancient drugs. And that's what I tried to tell people. You don't understand how every generation, because they think centuries ahead for their own gains, they, they never stand still with, with that advance of meaning people harm. They're so far ahead with that, unless the army of God is united with that strength, we would fail, but we aren't um, separate in our efforts to protect the goodness and innocence of people on this planet, so, yeah. But without that, this world would be hash browns, you know. And don't listen to the crap that things are going to get worse, and it's always worse with these freaks. You know, it's always one thing or another, always. there. It's a never-ending story. It's just, where are they going to start a war next, and why? Um, who are they going to put in office, and why? They're going to lift the economy and then slap you back down after you think you're going to have a nest egg for your offsprings or some ungodly weird thing that normal people would want to do, you know. So, yeah, there's a big fight ahead of us, but 
Um, we all know it's already one. They don't know it. It's just like the rabbinical community not addressing my concerns and questions for everybody on this planet. You don't fucking ignore me. I was going to say biatch, <laughs> but I didn't. I'm just telling you what you need to hear. Slime bags. I ask a legitimate question that they don't want to answer because it will pinpoint their bloodline. Don't get more poignant than asking flat out and not being answered three times. You know, four or five with my video, six today. Or has it been every day since I um, started this? Yeah. They think that the people that have gotten their heart and want the truth for everybody on this planet are lesser than. They presume that you or I is lesser than in any given direction. Isn't that something? Guess what? We could run and hide when somebody's on a little tiny continent well, yeah, you can fly somewhere. How safe are you up in that plane? Do you think that anybody with the mindset to, um, like God said, pew, and there you go. What what did you gain for your, your dark ways and your ignorance and angorance? That's the biggest thing. That just pisses me off. Sure, if you love to be hated. You get what you give on this planet. And some people haven't figured that out yet. In fact, from what I heard, you're going to get a whole lot more either direction. So them ones that are so self-centered, all they care about is their selves, ultimately. They're disloyal to their own. They betray their own with their own dishonesty for everybody and say, you're connected to me. You make me ill inside there. When you ask somebody that's professing the Holy Scripture and the Holy Ghost within themselves a question, I expect an answer. You don't play with people and get away with it. And if I can't answer your question, I'll tell you I can't answer that or I'll try to get back to you on that. You know? I can presume what God would tell you because I believe I roll with that heart and that mindset for everybody. But that's still a presumption. But some, when somebody comes out there and tells me definitively that's what something is, I have a beef with that. Like combining the two sexes within one thing or saying one thing came out of another. And actually, even, here's one thing that I forgot to mention, or maybe I did, that Tovia, Rabbi Tovia Singer had said that 
we're all gods. It says ye are all gods. It was misconstrued from your sons of God, where it says that too, and they twisted it. We are all God's children from God's family. He adopted us all from this stupid spirit of darkness on here, on this plane of existence. Stop playing your damn games. Even the rabbi will tell you there's a separation between the male and the female spirit. Well, they might tell you and they might not, but they put them together to make it look all controllable. It's like I tell you, if I'm a baker, I'm not that loaf of bread. I can give you my fingernail or my bone and it'll be gone forever. I just gave it to you. When God made women, he made woman. That was the end of his manliness within her wasn't there. She has the understanding through the Christ spirit, but she's not a man. The sickness on this planet, in this flesh, is not who we are. Stop trying to describe God our Father in the flesh. I have a beef with all your bullshit that's not logical in the flesh or the spirit. All of you that are misconstruing all that. Those are fighting words to me because you're confusing everybody and you need to be up and shut the fuck up. I hope that's clear and that's why my channel is not for everybody. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, I'm ratting on, on the Zionist church and it, the Judaism of it all. If I wanted to be Israel, I'd go be Israel. I'm not even what you would describe America. I'm of the United States of, um, of America, but it's not make America great again. Uh, America is Canada's part of the royal crown of England, the UK. No, I'm not making you great again. Why doesn't the UK give back all the stuff out of the museum in London from the countries they stole them from. Why don't they bring Pocahontas's bones back to America where she belongs? From the Potan tribe, some of my bloodline. How about that? And then they say, oh, well, there's Is Israelis in London. Oh, yeah. Okay, Kazarians. German slash Slavic, whoever you want to call your south of the caucus personage. So anyway, that's what's on my mind today. Flip and ignore legitimate questions for their own benefit in public. In, on public display for their own stupidity to be recorded forever. It's in the Akashic Records anyway, and God sees your stupid shit, but wear your black and flop around at a wall. Go up to that wall and beat your head on it because that's what's talking to. When you're talking to somebody in a, in a evil-affiliated dark Kabbalian craft mindset, it's like talking to Satan himself, the total ignorance and the lack of understanding for anything that resembles humanity. And it's beyond agorance. Like I said, those are fighting words. Ignoring what is right and true on this planet, you deserve to be slapped fucking silly and thrown on the ground and stomped on. I'm just saying what you deserve. A jail cell would be fine. I'd settle for that. Uh, maybe take you out in a lake and teach you how to swim. <clears throat> Something like that would be 
fun. I'd teach you how to canoe. I'd teach you how to sink a canoe and resurface it in 30 feet of water. I really can. I don't know if you'll make it back up to the surface, but my canoe and I will. That's how I feel about people that use other people. So I don't know if I'm going to go to anybody's lake place and go socializing anytime soon. Um, maybe. I need to go with my own heart on things. Because I, I won't hold back. I'll say what's on my mind no matter what comes out. And that's just what I do. Not in a bitchy way either. It would take a bitchy way to pull that out of me. And stupid would do that. Believe me, I can't do stupid. I can do it in large crowds where I, I don't have to connect too closely. But if I'm like relating to somebody and stupid comes out, I have a tendency to inside I just flip out. I'm like a slinky in there after that. It's like, oh, shit, I'm going. It's time to go, you know, type of thing. So I don't know if um, those people will be watching me. Keep in mind, I do love everybody. <laughs> and that's why I do what I do. Um, speaking to the people so they can have another chance to back off of their selfish ways and their greed and their worrying nature and stop giving excuses for it. Face the truth. What you say you have honor and you humble yourself and all people and all things are connected. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Not all things are connected. Doesn't that blow your mind? You can debate that. I'll be back and tell you why it isn't in another video. And we're not trying to come together here. It's called the separation of the wheat and the tares. And when God saw that mankind was writing out of his spirit, and this is in their own scriptures, that's when he decided to make his own book and say, okay, this is also inspired by God, but it will be denied. And, the, and no matter what we want to call Christ's name, God coming down into the flesh, it's a real thing. And that, that's something that when you have that Holy Spirit within your heart, that divine spirit from the male and female, you know. You feel united inside there with God's comfort. You'll know it. There's no doubt. And your level of intelligence and love for other people, it's on a whole nother level like that. And you can tell who's rolling like that and who isn't. It's time for us to show the world. If people are making money off of other people by deceiving them in any way, it's time for that exposure. Ripping the veil off, baby. That's what it is. They don't like that. Well, it's better than the total exposure you've put all us through. Leaving us naked without our own thoughts. With your witchcraft intervention and everything on every level. You're going to be exposed. And we're going to be doing it. Just keep tuned. It's out there. It's working. Slowly within the people, the truth will come out. The truth will prevail. So I appreciate you all joining me. Um, have a really good night or day wherever you're at. Peace.
Ann Lott from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.